What's up guys, today we have the Yamaha Crosscore RC and we are going to be doing a top speed test. We're going to start out with each PAS setting with a minimal output where you are going to take off in gear 7. Um, actually, let's go just gear 9. Okay, so we're going to go to the top gear. So we're going to be in each of the different settings on this bike. So we've got Eco Plus, Eco, Standard, and High and then auto and I think what we'll do is we'll do like a minimum effort approach on each of the settings we'll go through all of those and then we'll come back and we'll start and we'll do a moderate effort not really maximum effort um, we'll do a moderate effort on each of the settings and then maybe t towards the end I will do a maximum effort in the highest setting just to see what the bike will do top speed altogether. But anyways, without further ado, let's kick off. This is minimum effort in Eco Plus, taking off in gear nine. All right. It is kind of difficult to pedal, but it's okay. Not too bad. Picking up speed, getting easier. So, this isn't typically how you would ride the bike, but what I've found in my other tests is that if I don't start off in gear nine, in all of the settings, when I reach the top assist levels, the bike will not give me the speed that I need. I'll be basically pedaling too quickly. So anyway, we are in Eco Plus right now, minimal effort. Heart rate is 95 and we are going 14, 15 miles an hour, 16, not too bad. And again, this is me and Eco Plus putting out minimal effort. All right. Now let's go to Eco. Yes, stop shifting. All right, we are in eco mode, starting off gear nine, minimal amount of effort. Easier to take off, that's for certain. One thing about this guys, this bike, is that it is very, very sensitive to the amount of effort that you put in the pedals. So if I put in a lot more effort right now, it would give me a lot more speed. That's much different than the other bikes that I've had in the past. Anyway, we are on eco minimal effort, going about 15 miles an hour right now. Cruising along, steady pace, heart rate 95. Super easy to maintain 16 miles an hour really not putting out any effort here all right we are going to put it in standard i haven't ridden the bike in standard that much so this will be interesting to see i kind of want to start doing that just to see if it makes a difference maybe it's a happy medium between uh, eco plus and high in my experience, there's a big difference between um, eco and high, so maybe there is. Okay, here we go. Minimal effort. Definitely took a lot less um, effort to get going. We are still in gear nine, maintaining 17 miles an hour. Yeah, I can definitely notice the difference in standard versus eco. Huge difference between standard and eco plus. I would say it is relatively true that this bike riding in Eco Plus does make it feel like a normal bike, except for when you're climbing and stuff, it makes it easier than it would be on a normal bike. But we are in standard and we're maintaining about 18 miles an hour, giving a minimal amount of effort. Let's go ahead and put that in high. All right, taking off in high. Gear nine, minimal amount of effort. Oh, and we are still at 90, 94 beats per minute heart rate. 
Um, I can feel more power at the top. Yeah, okay, never mind. High is definitely faster. Yeah, we're sitting at like 19 miles an hour right now with <laughs> like no effort. Yeah, this bike is so fast. So fast, even if you don't put out the effort. I'm sitting here cooking 18, 19. I feel like I get up to 20 pretty easily without putting any real effort into it and just cruise here all day with a very low heart rate. All right. So that is it for the minimum amount of effort. We are going to put it, oh, let's go down to Ego Plus. We're gonna put, put out moderate amount of effort. All right, I'm standing on the pedals. Easier to take off. It's giving me a little bit more power than it did before. Again, guys, this is not me putting out as much power as I can, but it's me putting in uh, typical riding effort. And we're in Eco Plus. We got up there to about 18 miles an hour. Yeah, about 18 miles an hour. And now I could push harder and the bike would give me more. In my experience, this bike, if you really put in the effort in Eco Plus, you can get up to like 22 pretty easy. You really have to put in more, a lot more effort to get up higher than that, but you can. Anyway, that is moderate effort in Eco Plus. Now we're gonna go up to Eco. Oh man, the way this bike builds speed, it is just, oh, it's amazing, I love it. Starts pulling, bike picks up, and it's just, it's, it's not punchy, it's not, you know, unnerving, it's just confidence building and just builds. It's just so good, so good. All right, so we're moderate effort and eco right now, maintaining about 21 miles per hour. Yeah, pretty easy. We're sitting at 117 beats per minute right now. And we're gonna go moderate effort and standard. Okay, definitely a little more speed. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, so moderate effort in standard mode. We are going about 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yeah, this bike is so fast. Oh man, the way it builds speed. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go to high. This is gonna be high with moderate effort. I don't notice a whole lot of difference off the start, but once you get up here, the operating speed is much faster. Oh yeah, moderate effort, 24. Oh man, this bike is fast. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Woo! All right, that's moderate effort. Gear nine. Okay, you do hear it popping a little bit. I'm not sure why it does that. I think everything's in proper alignment. All right, so what we're gonna do now 
is we are going to put in auto and give you a moderate effort. So if you're not familiar with the bike, auto is supposed to be a mode where it kind of goes up in between high and eco by itself. My experience is that the bike in auto, for me, at least the way I ride the bike, it's like having it in high whenever you're riding fast and having it in like uh, maybe eco when you take off. Sitting at 24, 25. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Now, we're going to leave it in auto and we're going to do a maximum effort. Okay? Here we go. Oop. Maybe not so hard on the takeoff. Keep in mind, I'm in gear nine. So it's a little different than it would be if I were taking off in lower gears. But we are, we are really cooking. Got up to 26 or 25 there. All right. Twenty-six, twenty-seven. About twenty-seven miles per hour in auto mode. Putting out maximum effort on this short track. All right, guys. I'm sitting at 141. I'm gonna head over to the hill. I'm gonna pause the video. We'll pick back up when we get to the hill and I'll give you guys an idea of how this bike does when it climbs. See you then. All right guys, so I just realized that I haven't done any recording while riding this bike. So I figured I'd give you a little bit of in between while I'm headed over to the hill. So I'm in auto right now. And man, this bike zooms, zooms. I love auto, how it brings down the power whenever you slow and then builds the power back up whenever you're going fast. That's just, oh man, it's great. Now, does it conserve energy? No, it does not conserve energy. Not at least for the way I ride. But is it fun? Will it put a smile on your face? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. We're cruising up a slight grade right now at 23 miles an hour, and the bike is not missing a beat. Guys, we're gonna roll in. We're in Eco Plus Gear 9, starting the hill now. This is moderate effort. I don't think I can get up this hill without giving a moderate effort in Eco Plus in Gear 9. Oh, standing up on the pedals now, maintaining about 11 miles an hour. Definitely heavy on the knees. Wouldn't be so if I was in a lower gear, but just for testing sake, that's what we're doing. If you already heard it back there, when I was doing the speed test on the flat ground, it just tends to pop a little bit under heavy, heavy torque. I need to check that out. Make some adjustments to the derailleur or something. It seems kind of like it's cross chaining. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, that was Eco Plus. Maintain about 11, 12 mile an hour. Alright, we're gonna kick it up to Eco and take off. Again, we are in gear nine, putting out a moderate amount of effort. Okay. I'm gonna shift down, maybe. 
that makes a difference. Oh, sheesh. I'm gonna have to stay out of that top gear. I don't know what's going on with it. So we're in gear eight. Climb the hill. Moderate amount of effort. I'm going about 14 miles an hour. And if I put out more effort, it'll, it'll go faster. So check that out. So that's more effort, about 15. This bike gives you assist when you put it in, in the effort, but if you don't, it'll just kind of sit at the bottom of the assist. All right, that was Eco. Maintained about 13, 14, and then whenever I put in the effort, got it to about 15. All right, we're gonna be the, doing it in standard, gear nine. Oh, sheesh, I don't like doing that because it's gonna really mess up that cog, but testing purposes, we're in all in the same gear. Moderate amount of effort sitting in the seat, sitting at about 13, 14. If I put out more effort, I can get up to 15. out more if I could probably get up to 16 but yeah I did just right there I'm gonna have to just keep it in gear eight that's not liking gear nine under heavy load anyway we're gonna put this thing in high I'm gonna climb up gear eight moderate effort 15 16, 17, 18, about 18 miles an hour of moderate effort going up the hill, about 131 beats per minute for the heart rate. Man, this thing just sings up the hill. All right. All right, we're gonna now put it in auto mode. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to go up this with minimal effort halfway, and then we'll start kicking it in whenever we get to the top, or closer to the top. So putting in, sorry, morning bub. We're putting in minimal effort right now. Heart rate's going down. We're at about 12 mile an hour, 13 mile an hour in auto. Just climbing up the hill. The bike is assuming input of high. All right, now we're gonna put out the effort. So we soup we can get. All right, maximum effort. 19, 20. Yeah, that's what I expected. So if you put out maximum effort in auto or one of the relatively higher settings, you can maintain 20 miles an hour up that hill, no problem. All right, guys, that's the top speed test. But one thing I like to do just for the send off, I have a speed sign up here. I'd like to see if I can get the top speed to show on it. So that's what we're gonna do. Just keep your eyes peeled to the right. And we'll see what we can do. This chain is kind of being difficult with me, so I can't really torque on it, but I'm gonna hope to get 30. I could have got faster if the last cog wasn't being difficult with me. All right. 
Well guys, that's it for the top speed test on the Yamaha Crosscore RC. If you like this video, give me a like. If you got some other tests you want me to perform on this bike or any of the other bikes I have in my garage, comment down below. And if you want to see those videos or be notified when they come out, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Out.